Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Hope you are all okay on that side of the screen as always. And today I've got here with me the Devolo Powerline Adapter Kit, which is a gigabit kit and it has Wi-Fi AC capabilities. Now, just a spoiler alert before we begin this video, if you are looking for something to extend your network and give you Wi-Fi speeds that will be exactly the same or very similar to a Ethernet connection directly to your router or to your switch, then this is probably a interesting video for you and I'll see you in a few seconds. And we are back, so let's get to the review of these Devolo Powerline Adapter Kits. And for that, I'm going to start sharing you a quick unboxing experience. And once we open the box, we will find a user guide and some documentation. But on my personal opinion, you will not be needing. This is a plug and play device, so very easy to use. Nonetheless, the Devolo has a very complete manual or user guide, as you want to call it. So it will be easy just to follow the steps and that will be it. You will have your device running in no time. You also find the power line adapters as you could see already on the screen, but there you can see just a small experience of the unboxing. And of course you will have also a ethernet cable. Now moving along to the connection of this device is pretty easy. As I said, a plug and play device. So all you have to do is connect the first adapter to a socket near to your router or switch as I'm showing on the screen. On the screen of course it's not the ideal, I'm using an extension. You should connect this directly to your wall socket but this is just as an example. Now on the second place you should connect your Ethernet cable to the router and to that power line adapter, the first one, and then just take the second adapter, which has the Wi-Fi um, signal, to anywhere that you want on your office or on your home. And once you connect that to the wall, the two devices will stop talking to each other and in no time you will have signal. Now, after that, all you have to do is connect your device over Wi-Fi or over a Ethernet connection because you're gonna have those two options on this kit. Now one thing that I would like to mention here before we start the test is the Volo as a great app which is the Devolo cockpit which is a management app for this power line adapter and I would like to mention that this is the most complete piece of software that I've tried on any power line adapter so far. So this can be used on Android, iOS, OS X and Windows, probably on other operating systems, but these are the ones that I can try. So as you can see on screen, I'm uh, showing on my iPhone uh, with iOS, but I'm also testing with uh, the MacBook Pro. So you can install this or use this on mobile devices or on desktops, laptops, whatever you want. And let's move ahead. Uh, what I would like to point here is that you will have a lot of options for a device like this. Usually you have these options on routers and similar devices, but on power line adapters, once again, this is the first time that I see a complete software like this. I would like, would like sorry, <laughs> just to mention some of the things that we can do because it would make just a whole video to show all the features of this software. So you can turn on and off LEDs of these power line adapters. You can change your DHCP settings, security settings. You could turn on and turn off the Wi-Fi. You can time control Wi-Fi. You can say to the device, hey, I just want Wi-Fi from this hour to that hour. You can create guest accounts. So if a neighbor comes to your house and you don't want to give him the uh, password, you can create a few guest accounts and give them access and you can even limit their access to the Wi-Fi connection. You can also um, make the parental, parental, sorry, parental controls uh, available. So you can control what your kids are available to watch or not and much, much more you can find on this uh, piece of software. So this is, in my opinion, so far, well, not my opinion, this is a fact. So far, this is the most complete 
piece of software that I found on a device like this. Now let's move ahead to the speed tests and this is very interesting here as you can see already on the screen the first test that I'm doing is a Wi-Fi speed test and having in mind that I'm using the MacBook Pro late 2015 13-inch um, retina display and this has AC capability so I'm gonna take the maximum uh, of bandwidth available from the power line so just have this in mind and I'm getting one meter away from this uh, from the, the power line 91 megabits of download speed and 20 megabits of upload speed and I've written here wow because it is wow this is the speed that I do get directly connected to my switch so this is just great that's why I'm so happy with this testing here now let's move ahead and I also test it out on a different place so about four meters away in my couch which is where I usually relax a little bit and I'm at the same time watching a little bit of TV uh, talking with my kids playing around with them answering a few emails so just relaxing there and I was getting there about four meters away once again I was getting 93 megabits of download speed and 20 megabits of upload speed so uh, once again I did run around on, on my house and the lowest I got on Wi-Fi speeds was roughly 80 megabits per second on this kit here once again I'm using a laptop that has AC capabilities so I'm using the, the whole thing so <laughs> just have that in mind I also made some tests with iPerf which I will show you at the end because there's some things that uh, probably gonna gonna help me out here now moving along uh, at the same location of the first test that we did on the Wi-Fi as you can see already on screen I was getting 42 megabits of download speed and 20 megabits of upload speed so this was the first thing that made my mind a bit confused because on the same spot I was getting 90 megabits per second download and 20 megabits of upload and then on the Ethernet connection I was getting only 42 so on the same position uh, so this was a bit um, confusing <coughs> or confusing for me but I will share that when I show you the iPerf results in just a few uh, seconds now I did also run a second test because I know that some of our sockets on the wall are um, different and will give us different speeds so even if you have the best power line adapter and I do mention on all the videos that I do about these devices our walls can or the sockets on our walls cannot be or can be on um, different uh, scenarios like a older house will have uh, a different performance of a newer house because you have a new connection so you're gonna get higher speeds if you have a house with I don't know 60 70 years old probably gonna get a different connection from a house that is brand new so this is something to have in consideration and from previous tests I know that in my particular house I do have a few sockets where I do get low results and then I have a few sockets where I do get really high results so getting back to the results here 42 megabits of download speed and 20 megabits of upload speed was not what I was expecting so I did get a bit confused and I did run around once again on my house and where I did get the signal or the most out of it was as you can see also on screen on my son bedroom I was getting 93 megabits per second of download speed and 20 megabits per second of upload speed so I did got to uh, take the full bandwidth of this device through my or almost the full um, if we count gigabit it's almost the full speed of this uh, of this device so just have this in mind some of our sockets will be the bottleneck not the device itself so if you find yourself buying a Devolo or any other brand that you are using and you cannot get the full amount of the or the full bandwidth uh, have in mind and try on different sockets so you don't blame these guys because they made a great product sometimes the fault is our uh, wall sockets now moving along to the iperf results which I really like to make just to give me a bit more of certain uh, just because we are testing with speed test our connection to the SP and I like to use iperf 
uh, to test out the connection between one machine and the other without messing around with the ESP. So looking at the screen, you already are seeing the iPerf results. And in here, I've got some confusing results and probably some of you might give me uh, a few um, I don't know, a few ideas, a few tips, but I'm going to share with you anyway. So the first test, as you can see on the photo there, I was connected to Wi-Fi and I was getting roughly 90 megabits of download speed and 20 megabits of upload speed. But on iPerf, I was only getting 62.6 megabits of bandwidth. So this is something that really confused me. Now, if we go to the second test, as you can see on screen, I got more confused. So on the second test, I was on the same location, but connected through Ethernet and I was getting only 42 megabits of download speed and 20 megabits of upload speed. But on the same time, on iPerf, I was getting 97.2 megabits, sorry, of um, bandwidth. So, the first thing that you can uh, think is, hey Robert, you just messed up this. Yeah, that's what I thought on the beginning as well. After testing this and comparing the results, I said, hey Robert, you, you messed this up. You exchanged the results. But guess what? I did multiple tests and these are the actual results. So here, I cannot tell you what's happened because we have two different bandwidth uh, speeds. The Wi-Fi is lower, but we are getting higher speeds and the Ethernet connection is higher, but we are getting lower speeds on this particular spot of my house. Now, if we go to the uh, third test, as you can see also on screen, this is the one that got me higher results. I've got here 128 megabits of download or sorry, 128 megabits of bandwidth and I'm getting roughly 93 megabits of download speed and 20 megabits of upload speed. So this one here did not confuse me at all. This was perfect, but the other two, as you could see, are really confusing for me. So probably, as I said, some of you might have any idea and I can make the test again, no problem at all to figure out what's going on here. Nothing important, and this will take me to uh, the conclusion. Nothing important because what matters to me most is not the iPerf results that I showed you on screen. It is the actual performance that I can get out of, these, of this machine. So in conclusion, guys, this is the fastest machine, or the fastest machine, sorry about the, the machine word. This is the fastest adapters that I did try so far. Uh, and Wi-Fi speed tests, I didn't have Wi-Fi speed tests on my living room uh, as I did with the Devolo Powerline adapter kits so far. I could have those speeds uh, if I had my laptop, laptop here on the office, but I couldn't get those speeds out on the living room and on the bedroom and now i can <laughs> with this develop power line adapter kits also i would like to mention that this one here has two ethernet connections so you can connect directly two devices here and let's say for example an android tv box that we have been seeing on the channel and let's say the other one for your smart tv or if you want to connect i don't know a laptop or something like that and you also have besides the ethernet connections the great wi-fi that it's being transferred across this device. Also, I'd like to, to, to mention one very important thing, which is you can connect other devices on top of these power line adapters. So this will be the first thing on your wall, and then you can connect other devices here, your TV, your box, etc. The test that I made, and I didn't record that, I didn't bother to because the tests were exactly the same. But what I did, I did connect a 400 watt lamp here, to the maximum which is one that i've got right over here on my head uh, and the results were exactly the same so i didn't notice any uh, performance decrease so this means that you can connect anything here and probably your tv your box and your vcr whatever you use doesn't matter will not draw 400 watts which was what i tested and it goes up to 3600 watts you can connect something here up to 3600 watts referring to the um, instructions from the Volo which I didn't test out those 3600 but I do believe them now guys in conclusion once again this is the fastest 
adapters that I did try so far and I'm really happy especially with the Wi-Fi speed test that you can use to have great network on your home or on your office on your mobile devices and that being said guys as always my name is Roberto George hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did so don't forget that thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one